Hi there, my name is Adam. Today I'm going to be covering a key feature of ACDC. Uh, the ability to simultaneously make the same change to multiple images. Uh, many users call this process batching or batch development. ACDC has another way to batch develop images through our actions function, but I've already covered this extensively in another video, which I'll link to just at the top here. So you can find the batch function on the top manage mode menu bar right here. The aspect we'll be covering today is batch develop. Although based on the dropdown, you can see that there are other batch options. You'll notice that my batch develop presets are totally empty. So we'll need to create one in order to apply the preset to a set of images. To do this, let's select an image and take it into develop mode. Next to each effect, there will be a corresponding cogwheel. For example, if I make a white balance change to this image, as I adjust the slider, three things occur. Uh, first of all, obviously the preview image changes, but also the reset a button that appears to the left of the cogwheel appears, and finally the active change button lights up. That's this blue little light here. If I didn't like these changes, I can click the reset button. If I wanted to temporarily hide the changes, I click the blue button to deactivate. Now, if I wanted to save these individual white balance values, I'd click the cogwheel here and save the preset. However, I'd like to incorporate more adjustments than just white balance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a moment to make some additional adjustments. Namely, let's address some light EQ changes. Um, I'm going to darken the foreground and I'm also going to bring up some highlights. Also, let's change the clarity. Let's uh, increase the clarity in this case. And also for this image, I think it would benefit from a vignette. So I'm going to add one and adjust those values. Okay, so now what you'll notice is that we have three active changes highlighted. Uh, general, white balance, light EQ, and post crop vignette. So if we wanted to save a preset that contains these multiple adjustments, we'd simply click the master develop settings cogwheel from the top. Saving presets will instruct us to choose from a checklist of which elements we want to include in this preset. In this case, we'd actually like to include all of our changes. Uh, we can either click select all, as this will include everything, or we can selectively choose from the options. Let's do the latter in this case, it's a bit cleaner. So I'll select contrast, Light EQ, White Balance, and Vignette Correction from the list. From here, we should name and save this preset. Uh, let's go with Warmth and Highlights. Okay, so this preset is saved, and we can now exit this image. Let's return to Manage Mode and run a batch development change. I'm going to select a group of images and navigate to the batch develop option from the top dropdown. You'll notice that our warmth and highlights preset has been added to our option tier. Let's select it and run the development. The progress bar actually indicates when the process will finish, which should be soon. This icon that appears in the bottom left of our thumbnail uh, shows that this image has been developed and you'll notice that every image that we ran the preset on it has that icon. 
Now keep in mind, uh, we can revert these images at any point by opening them in develop mode and resetting their values, or simply by right clicking and selecting restore to original from the process section right here. Um, these are non-destructive changes. So as you can see, uh, creating presets is a fairly versatile method of saving your adjustments. Uh, additionally, in ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate, you can also create uh, LUTs using adjustment layers and then save those as presets as well. All right, friends, that's the gist of it. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial on batching. As always, please like, comment, or subscribe for more ACDC tutorials and video content.